What's up guys? A package from Moose Jaw came in. Uh, actually really quick shipping. Uh, I think I ordered them on Friday or Saturday and they came in on Wednesday. So not too bad, especially around uh, Christmas time, actually the week of Christmas. I uh, got them in on the 21st. Uh, yeah, let's just get in. I've already opened the, the top here. Packaging isn't anything special. There you have them, Danner boots. This is the first pair of Danners that I've owned. So I've never worn Danner before. As you guys have seen in previous videos, I have the um, Red Wing Iron Rangers. So when I was looking for another boot uh, in mock toe, I opted for the Iron, uh, the Iron Ranger, the mock toe by Red Wing. But after trying and trying and even more trying, I, I couldn't wear them. Uh, they, they hurt my feet. They started leaving like, I don't know, I, almost like like a corn or a bunion on the side of my foot like they were too tight. So I put uh, a Ziploc baggie of water inside of them, wrapped them in some uh, grocery bags and froze them. And it seemed to help a little bit. Um, but still not comfortable enough to wear. So I ended up selling those on eBay. Um, and because I've never sold anything on eBay before, kind of, I didn't really make money. I lost money on the boots, but uh, still recouped enough to pay for most of these. So these are the Banner Mock Toes. They're the Bull Run Lux. Um, stitched down uh, construction, recraftable, whatever that means. I guess it means you can resole them. Uh, oil and slip resistant outer sole. So, I did try on a pair that was way too big in a different color at REI, and uh, they seem to be pretty comfortable. So I think they're gonna they're gonna work. But let's open it up and take a look. So, Danner, nineteen thirty two. Just tells you about um, it's made in America with uh, imported components. So it's got a 365 day warranty and it talks about the recrafting so oh wow that's a nice looking boot so this is wow this is that leather is super i don't know if you guys can even tell but how easily it folds it's very uh very soft way softer than the uh the red wings Let's see what kind of so here's the ortho light insole so that's why i want to take it out all the way because i don't have to fight with getting it back in so you can see the leather i believe that's the welt is what it's called you can see people cut these uh cut these open online on youtube uh you just search the boot. The guy that does the, like, Mocktober, uh, I'll denote it someplace his channel, but he did a really good channel. So the leather's super soft here, and it's not a still toe, but you can feel there's a cap in here. That So here, it runs. It's not there, and it's there. So it comes up, and I guess around like this. It's got the USA flag and then you have these are like almost like a uh, well, I guess you guys can see it it's like a teal color it's cool yeah, I think they maybe like a force patina or something like paint it to look like that because it doesn't feel to me if it was really like that it would be rough but these are super smooth so so these are from Portland Oregon uh, established 1932 at the red wax laces and the brown ones. I think I'll go with the red ones. I like that. Oh, they put a, I guess this is a run your, your laces through to keep the tongue in place. I had actually saw a review where someone complained that the tongue slips, but if you wanted to resolve that, just cut little slits in it. So I guess they heard and abided by that. So, 
the inspection tickets on the inside and then the other boot. It's weird that they fold the tongue down like that. I don't, I don't like that. So I'm gonna get these things laced up and try them on. So they're all laced up. I think they look really, really good with the red. Um, this it feels real like suede, not as slick leather as the uh, the Red Wings. So just kind of as a disclaimer before I get like comments uh, down below, which I'm sure I'll get them anyway. I don't expect these to hold up. Maybe they will, but I'm not really expecting them to hold up. Um, as I would have expected the Red Wings to hold up. Um, just because they're so, so much softer. I know they do have a, like a plastic shank to help, you know, with support or whatever. My main, I guess, goal with uh, this pair of boots is to have something comfortable, to work around the house, where, you know, wherever out, where I'm to work. Disclaimer on that. For, for work, if I go out in the plant, I have to have still toes, so I won't be wearing them to actually work as, you know, my job, but I will wear them to work around the house, you know, whatever I'm doing in the yard, working in the garage, working on the Jeep, whatever. So, um, all right, so I already said I was putting them on before, and I didn't put them on, so let's put them on now and check them out. Alright, so there they are laced up. I really like the way they look. I typically don't roll my pants up like this. Usually they kind of naturally just do that, but uh I like the way they look. Yeah, good looking boot. I think I'm gonna stick with the red laces. I like that. Nothing wrong with uh with these. I just think the red stands out more. One thing I will say I did a better job on this one. With the tongue, you have to push the tongue down on the sides and fold it over because of the way it's stitched. I think that's for uh, waterproofing, but I really don't know. This one, it, it didn't work so well. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Get the pants out of the way. So yeah, I did a bad job on that. If you look at this, this one, you can see I did a much better job uh, getting it on, so. Here they are. It's gonna be uh, pretty quick for you guys, just like the uh, the AirPod 2 uh, first impression and review. I'm gonna wear these around the house for a while. So one quick thing before we get to uh, testing these boots out. I noticed the eyelets almost perfectly match uh, my wife's soon to be crafting cart. I don't know, just thought it was funny. Still like it though. So as I was attempting to say, I want to wear these for a while around the house. So if I need to return them, I can. I don't want to get stuck with them and end up losing money on eBay like last time. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm filming upstairs in the game playroom for the kids, you know, like their video games or whatever up here. Usually I film in the garage. It's 27 and in Texas, especially South Texas, we're not used to that. It's way too cold. So I'm not used to walking up and down the stairs, getting filming equipment and boots and drinks and everything else. So. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Astros World Series champs. Um, that was great. So stay tuned and we'll be back. All right. So to wrap up, it actually did not, uh, even take 
a couple of days of wearing around the house. I think I wore them just, you know, around the house on the carpet and uh, hardwood or whatever for uh, maybe a day, day and a half. And then I just took them outside because they were super comfortable. Um, and they just continue to be great boots for the last few weeks. I've had them three weeks. Uh, worn them quite a bit. This week, we're in January, so I started back to work the plant. You'll see those boots in a second. So I haven't worn these uh, this week at all, but they're great boots. Um, I can't say necessarily that I like them better, and I probably said this already in the previous uh, or earlier in this video. Um, I probably already said it, uh, but I'll repeat it. I guess it, it's good to repeat is that I can't say that I like them better than my Red Wings, the Iron Rangers. One, because I haven't uh, had them as long, obviously. The Iron Rangers, I've had them since 2017, and they're still great. Um, these are more comfortable straight out of the box. They are more comfortable wear, even with this one's little weird tongue thing that bunches up here that I showed y'all earlier. Uh, still, it's man, it's such a comfortable boot. I'm really enjoying the Danners. Um, I would buy, I'd buy these again. I would buy another pair of Danners and, you know, a different style or whatever, uh, just because they seem to be good boots. We'll see how long they hold up. Um, and then I will, I'm sure I'll do another video somewhere down the, the line of either cleaning them or just, uh, a wear, um, uh, a wear video on how they're, they're, uh, how they're doing so but right now I, I could not recommend them enough i got these through moose jaw and at the time of me buying them uh they're like 186 i think 186 199 something like that uh rei has rei has them but they're almost uh 100 dollars more they're like 269 um so as much as i wanted to buy them from rei because we have one local and you know i have the membership or whatever uh you just can't can't beat the price. Moose Jaw has been, they were good to deal with. Shipping was quick. Uh, placed the order on a Wednesday, got the boots on Monday. No, I placed the order on Friday, got the boots on Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. It was a real quick turnaround on the boots. Uh, and yeah, they. I like them. I would at this point recommend them. So thanks and uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below. I noticed the eyelids almost perfectly match uh, my wife's soon to be crafting cart. I don't know, just thought it was funny. Still like it though.